Welcome back at 640 on your Monday morning. North Dakota has a rich history of Native American culture and learning the history of our land and knowing the culture of our first peoples is important. So today we're heading to the Turtle Mountain Reservation to see some new attractions in the area. Every tribe in North Dakota has its own cultural history and stories to tell. Our tribe is unique. We have uh, the Métis culture under the umbrella of the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa, and that means mixed blood. And so when they come here, it's not just about the Chippewa, it's about the Métis. Les Thomas, dubbed the King, is the Vice President of Native American Tourism in North Dakota. Thank you, thank you very much. He says the partnership between Native American tourism and ND tourism has had a positive impact on our economy, bringing in $3.5 billion in 2023. However, it's more than just the financial impact. It's about the culture and educating people from all over about their history and who they are today. We're really a people people. Uh, we love to laugh, we love to communicate, um, and we really love telling our stories. Um, it's really a big part of our culture to, to engage in storytelling um, and so to be able to share that with people who aren't part of our community or who are part of our community that have left and come back uh, is really important as far as uh, gaining that ancestral knowledge as well as, you know, a modern cultural knowledge of, of the area. Thomas says that everyone is welcome to come to the Turtle Mountain Reservation to learn more about their rich heritage, all while enjoying the many tourism amenities. The tourists that come from worldwide coming here to the Turtle Mountain area, they can learn about our culture here at the Heritage Center uh, and about our past history and our current history. The Turtle Mountain Chippewa tribe has around 34,000 enrolled members. So their people are scattered throughout the entire continent. Danielle Wilkie, the director of the Turtle Mountain Chippewa Heritage Center, says that working at the Heritage Center has been an enlightening journey, not only for her, but also for others who have stopped along the way, including one woman who wanted to know more about her own heritage. And all she had was a last name. She had her grandma's name um, and was really looking for more closure as far as more about her family. Uh, she had had some people that had passed away and so she didn't really get any knowledge as far as uh, where she came from. And so coming here yesterday, she was able to experience a little bit of the culture with our artifacts and uh, some of the things that we have here, but also um, to look through the books and information that we have uh, regarding the, the area's genealogy. And she was able to actually find pictures and information about uh, her grandparents uh, their kids and various aunts and uncles. Right across from the Heritage Center is the Sky Dancer Casino and Resort. So not only are people coming to the Turtle Mountain area to learn more about the history of the lands, but also for some entertainment. Sky Dancer Casino and Resort currently has 100 guest rooms with another 100 rooms being added soon. Managers with the resort say that their tribal council is always searching for unique, creative ways to bring more people to the reservation. Uh, for instance, this summer, you know, we're bringing it, we brought in uh, different types of entertainment, you know, that was never offered in this area before. We were mostly like country western uh, type of entertainment and things like that. Um, we brought in, uh, you know, some rock and roll, we brought in some uh, rap music, uh, different types of entertainment and you know we found that we were able to draw you know actually pretty darn pretty darn good crowds and majority of them were people who had never been up to our area before. With the latest and most up-to-date gaming technology to the juicy steaks at the Fire's Edge Steakhouse, the Sky Dancer Resort continues to add more family-friendly features such as the Turtle Island Adventure Park. The new water park features three water slides, a 175 foot long lazy river, a kiddie pool, an activity pool for all in the community to use, and private party poolside rooms. To make their water park stand out, the theme inside is that of the heritage of the Turtle Mountain Chippewa. The general manager of the park, Helen DeJarly, grew up on the reservation, and she says that she's happy to not only have the space for families touring the area, but also for those who live there. I've been here my whole life, so not having a whole lot of family fun things to go to, so it's nice that 
the younger generations are going to have this for years to come. And that's not all. In around a month, a new trampoline park will be available for families to utilize. With the growing number of tourists, Sky Dancer Management is also working with the Tribal Council to possibly add an RV park. Everything is so positive here on our reservation and we have people that are very friendly and, and people that will look out for you. And if you would like to learn more about Native American tourism in our state or book a visit with the Sky Dancer Casino and Resort, you can visit our website, kxnet.com. And I just got to show this off really quick. Uh, Les is a big <laughs> fan of Elvis Presley. He is part Chippewa, uh -huh. apparently. And so he gave me this picture he took himself of of the Elvis Presley. And as take. he would say, thank you. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Yes. Can't do so it like, cool. like Les does, but no. yes. <laughs> we always very enjoy cool. having Les here with us He's on Good Day. An amazing guy. I'm so happy I got to meet yes, him. Yes, so. lots of good work there. And Stone, show us the work that you're doing this morning, uh, <laughs> giving us our weather forecasts. How was it going to be? Well, it, it's going to be probably